And if you've ever wanted to see the Sistine Chapel but couldn't make the trip to Vatican City, you are in luck. A new exhibit is coming to the Connecticut Convention Center, giving people a glimpse of the works of Michelangelo. Yeah, it's being put on by C Global Entertainment. They've done several themed traveling exhibits, including ones involving Star Wars, King Tut, the Titanic, and Michael Jackson. But this looks like it is spectacular. You're looking at the Last Judgment right now. You'll get to see that up close. Uh, here to take us inside this new exhibit is Sylvia Nolan from C Global, uh, joining us from Salt Lake City, where they're currently doing an installation. So thank you for taking the time to get up early and join us, Sylvia. Good morning. Of course, thank you. Good morning. Uh, glad to have you here. Uh, please tell us, uh, how is this going to sort of recreate what you can see at the Sistine Chapel right here at the Connecticut Convention Center? Well, about 10 years ago, um, our CEO, Martin Bialis, he was at the Vatican and he was with friends. And I, if you've ever been there, you'll realize that you wait in line for a couple hours, you get in, you're only allowed in there 15, 20 minutes, and you're absolutely not allowed to take any photos. Mm -hmm. And so he came out feeling a little let down and he said, you know, it's so beautiful. I wish I wish we could do more. So he said, I'm in the exhibit business. Why not come up with uh, licensing the images, putting them on canvas and let people take as many photographs as they'd like. Mm. So we've been doing this for the last seven years. We have 10 of these units, five internationally and five in the U.S. And we're just so excited to come to Hartford. Mm, well, we're excited to have you here. Now, tell us a little bit more about what goes into putting an exhibit like this one together. I can't imagine countless hours to make it all happen. Yeah, it takes us about four days to load in, and um, the, I'm excited because we have so many different other elements that, other than the 34 frescoes that you're going to get to see up close. We have an audio guide that um, it's, it comes with your ticket, and you walk through, and you just point your either your Android, your iPhone, or you can have the you know museum type that you handhold, and you go up to the fresco, and you point it, and it'll tell you exactly what that person is and who they, why Michelangelo painted them, you know, and what significance they played in history. And we also have a theater that has a 20 minute show that is quite fun. Everybody seems to really love it with the, uh, we have an, a comedian and an animated Michelangelo character and they banter, yeah, they banter against each other, wow. uh, talking about the way this whole thing came about, you know, it took them five years to paint it on the ceiling, yeah. the 33 frescoes. And then he came back 20 years later and did the last judgment that took him, you know, another five years. And that has over four characters. And I don't know if you know, he put himself in the last judgment, sort of like a Hitchcock where Hitchcock would put himself in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Like an Easter egg, one of the right. earliest Easter eggs. I did not know that. And the Last Judgment is something that you could easily get lost in just looking at, especially because being that it's on the wall, it's closer than a lot of the more famous frescoes mm -hmm. above your head. Uh, one more question, Sylvia. Why is it so important to be able to take this over the world, not just to Hartford, but to Salt Lake City, all sorts of places, and make it so accessible to others? Well, I mean, you have to realize these masterpieces are over 500 years old. I mean, it's and this was one of the greatest works of art. And, you know, he never thought he was a painter. He said, oh, I'm a sculptor, right. I'm not a painter. You look at these and you just think, I don't know how somebody could think they're not <laughs> an amazing artist. You see every brush stroke. That's what's amazing about this. You get to see everything up close. And these are the very exact size and um, of what's on that ceiling. You know, they're the very same Im images that have been placed onto canvas. So I hope everybody comes out. Um, I hope they'll visit chapelsistine.com. We'll have some special events that they'll be able to partake in. And um, the tickets are reasonable. So we're open Wednesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we're really looking forward to Hartford getting behind it and coming and yeah. seeing some beautiful pieces of art. Yeah. Yeah, not everybody can make it to Rome, although True. we certainly wish they could. It's a beautiful city, but this is a great way to see something, even a better vantage point than you would get in Rome. And yeah, you, you what can't a great opportunity, yeah. because like you said, not everyone's going to get to go. If they do, they're going to have to keep certainly their distance. You don't get up and close. Uh, Sylvia, thank you so thank much you. for the time. Mm. Thank you for letting us come and join.